gonna match. These are the most f***ing dad shoes I've ever had in my life. Like this thing is a f***ing unit. Pour it. Put it on. <laughs> Look at this outfit, bro. <laughs> bro, they're so comfy, I don't even care. I just wear Birkenstocks and socks to the gym. You can't much can't get much more than that. Come on! Come on, Chris! And come on, come on! Still four times. Come on, let's go, finish off. Bumpster! the conference room here uh trying to hide from this guy but he found me he left his little, is that your notebook yeah he left his secret notebook in here so he came to find it and he found me but we made it back from our trip our shenanigans tuesday now got back sunday so i got three days to recover and generation iron is in town we're filming some stuff wrapping some stuff up got a bunch of meetings for rob kind of going over a lot of things coming forward it's all good stuff turns to be in a bunch of appointments and then i leave for italy on thursday so a lot going on I'm trying to get a few good workouts in right now, I'm trying to get as many meals as I can out of the kitchen. I actually got meal prep in Italy. Courtney found a, I don't know who they are, but she found some meal prep company that will ship to me everywhere I go in Italy because we're going to like five different cities. So hopefully I don't get too skinny while we're there. They probably don't even have gyms in the city we're going to, but I'll be fucking Rocky Balboa doing pull-ups and push-ups or some random shit. Do what I can. Other than that though, fucking what? You know, feel a little bit overwhelmed this week being traveling so much and not being home and knowing that my priority of the body is what I have to do and just being a homebody myself and being anxious around like so much travel, so much going on, not having structure. It's kind of pushing me inside my comfort zone, but I'm trying to just roll with life right now. All good things I'm doing and when I come back, be able to chill for a while and focus on what I need to focus on. So choosing to enjoy it best I can and get huge in the process. So gonna train yesterday I think. I did legs last night and I can't walk. I'm literally like limping around hobbling. I only train legs every eight days right now and I'm not building up a tolerance to it and they're just destroyed every time I train them. So pretty broken right now. Gonna go ahead the chest day. Maybe a little triceps. I've been neglecting arms. Have a beautiful day. Only pussies take one scoop. Oh, I'm being rude if I eat it. Oh. <laughs> Here, I would love a raw or a sebum shirt. I love you guys. I want to try on the streets. I would love to meet you and kill you. Meet you all. Meet you all. What kind of fans you got, though? I would love to meet you and kill you. It's one of Chris's fans, too. I am five. Love. Brant. Brantley. I'm like, sorry, Bradley. I'm not going to read the name, but the address. Just please call me at 911. Where did that come from? Uh, Joey gave you uh, yeah. You should send him a fucking year supply of energy. I said it's probably a grown man. Yeah, it it looks like someone writing with their left hand. I'm not really? Doesn't that look like someone writing with their left hand trying to look like they're better? Maybe? Did they say say how old they were? Five. Five? Do five year olds have good handwriting? Probably better than me. I am five. <laughs> That's like uh, bench warmers. Right. <laughs> Science class with Chris. Does that look appetizing? Yeah, it's a raw product. Of course it looks appetizing. As it just squirts out the bottom of your bottle. You need to eat a spoon. All right, so chest day it is. I've been in hotel gyms and random gyms doing a lot of Smith machines. So today I think I'm gonna do dumbbells because I haven't had heavy, heavy dumbbells in a while. I'm probably so weak right now. I don't even need heavy dumbbells, but. Trying to do some free weights to keep my mobility going, and that's about it. I just gotta warm the shit in my chest up. I still feel beat up from travel, so wish me luck. I'm gonna do dumbbells, a little bit of triceps at the end of this workout, and just kinda wing it from there.
not really trying to kill myself on this. Just squeezing the piss out of it at the end of the rep there to really contract my pecs. And then we're gonna move on to some, I wanted to do incline dumbbell, but there are no benches. So we'll see if we can scare Sebastian one away and get a bench. What's there? Almost. <laughs> Almost. Well, being a little stubborn, dude. Yeah? I mean, it could be, I, I can get a car right now, you know? Really? Yeah. We made, we made a couple of false, false alarm trips. <laughs> Three in the morning the other day. I was like, <laughs> here we go. But, yeah. What was her official due date? Official due date's Monday, just so six days. Really? She's already over. She's about eight and a half pounds though. Really? Yeah, so she's ready. Yeah. yeah. Just sitting down and stuff. Hopefully soon then. Yeah, I mean, I mean like, too. don't talk about induction, you know, next week. Felt a lot heavier than the last time I did it. Wow. But that's not horrible. Three weeks of travel, five pounds left on the dumbbells. I'll give myself a break for that. Oh. Alright, I'm trying to be past the point of doing one heavy set and then dropping it for the next set. Too far in the off season for that. I'm trying to get strong and stay strong. So two sets at my top weight rather than dropping down. I don't know how much my strength dropped between sets, like how many reps, but it was a lot. I think I went from like nine to six, but well, I'm doing it, trying to, get, trying to get better. The more you keep your weight high, the more your muscular strength, endurance will lift up. It's not so much endurance of how many reps you can get, but how consistently you can keep pushing heavy weight and your body be ready to do another heavy set instead of a lighter set after. And the only way to get better at that is to acclimate your body to it, train your body to do it. So that's what this part of the option is gonna be, being strong.
We're almost done the second build of the app. It's going to fire up the beta. We're doing beta testing right now. If you were in the first collection of people who had the old version of my app, you got to try out the new one. And it's just like fully updated weight tracking, better videos, new videos, better explanations, just easier to follow around. Keeps notes and weights that you've done in previous workouts, four different training splits, and a few other nutrition things we're bringing out in the next few months. But I'm excited because it looks sick. So in like a week when it's perfected, I'm going to do a video of me going through the actual app and training with it and showing you guys how it works. Then we're going to be doing a transformation contest in like a few weeks, honestly. What's the launch of the new app? So you'll sign up for the app through transmission contest. The prize will be like a bunch of cash and the ability to train with me. So it's all coming very soon. I might have already posted about my Instagram by the time videos up, but good thing. All right, so push a little bit of volume here on this one because I did lower over there. I'm gonna do a bit of like a rest pause combination thing. I'm gonna go to like eight reps. I felt it out in like five was heavy last time. And I'm gonna rest with my arms stuck in position here so my chest is stretched out and there's blood flowing into it. it makes it a little bit more difficult. And then I'm gonna go to failure. And then I'm gonna put my arms down, rest a little bit with my arms down, go to failure again, take one plate off, go to failure. So it's like a drop set rest pause random bullshit. And then we're done on this machine. So I'm dropping right now. machine is deceptively heavy. The end of the lock gotta get super heavy because the weight of gravity. I was gonna explain gravity for a second, but I don't know what it is. It's just heavy, so nice little set. Take my socks off. So this is still like the only version of decline that I can do. So my labrum is still fucked up and torn, so I can't do any presses. But if I do a close grip, close elbow, neutral grip, fly, press, I can get that like pec minor squeeze down there. And then when I get fatigued, I just go a little bit top rep it out up there to get some more reps. But it's really just about like squeezing like up under the armpit and like pushing through like the bottom of your wrist to get like a replication of a decline press.
last flash second last exercise. And I'm really trying to focus on keeping my chest up, squeezing, rather than letting my shoulders and upper back cave in. I'm kind of cheating there and using my shoulders a little bit. So keep my chest up, elbows in, and squeeze. And keep that the whole way. And I'd rather fail out here with my arms stuck here and cave in and close all the way. So just that cue, I'm trying to keep my lower back from moving and arching too much and just saying stiff at the board, stiff at the dick on Halloween. What? Even myself, I'm way weaker. Keeping my chest up and squeezing like that, rather than letting myself full roll forward. The weight is like four stacks less than I normally do and I did less reps, so. Sometimes it's best to make it as hard as possible and squeeze the shit out of the muscle. And since I've been traveling a lot and not feeling super strong on the road, I've just been focusing on like really deep mind muscle connection and it has made my training so much better. And I'm not as strong as I normally am, which kind of fucks with my head, but like my workouts are a lot more effective now than they've been in the past, so. Now that I'll implement strength with his base leading into this off season, I think it'll be a good year, maybe. Maybe not. Alright, so I'm finishing up the last press on this chest day with some like close grip incline bench, free weight. It's really good to just not get stuck to machines like I did for a while. When you get in the machines, it's just such a smooth, like unilateral plane of motion that your body can just get used to only moving in that rather than stabilizing in a natural form where gravity is going to make the weight fall on you. So I'm not going to push myself on this because I might hurt myself. I haven't done it in fucking years. Other than that one time I embarrassed myself benching Vaughn. So I'm going to do like, I don't know, a little bit of weight on here. Just close grip, focus on a little tricep, a little chest. And see how the weight goes. I mean, I'm on an angle, so I don't what? know. I'm on an angle, so I don't know. Stay there, because I think I'm fucking doing this. Harder than it should be. But it feels good. I only have like four days in America before traveling, so I'm doing like a little bit combo workout. So I'm doing a little triceps at the end of this chest day. So 
some of those close grip presses like when the machine hit my tries a lot. So I'm doing a little close, close grip and then I'm gonna do some ropes and then let's see how this goes. Alright, last exercise, a long workout. Do some triceps, like I said, I'm trying to hit like one and a half body parts this week because of my travel, so I'm doing like-minded body parts. Tomorrow I'm gonna do back and buys, but for now, just squeezing the piss on my triceps and finishing them off because they were pretty active, the secondary movement from all the pressing I did earlier, so. Then, yeah. It for today's workout, calling it quits. It's a long workout, I don't know how many exercises I did, but probably more than normal. But it actually feels pretty good coming back from training. For some reason, my workouts were really good in Pittsburgh, partly because I had good training partners. Hani was there pushing me. I could just breathe better. And I haven't been staying at my house for a while now because my allergies are so bad there. So, life's on the up. Hopefully my allergies aren't bad in Italy either. And I'll live to tell another day when I get back. So, yeah, it is what it is. That's the end of this video? Yeah. What? What are you eating after? Fish and rice. Match. These are the most fucking dad shoes I've ever had in my life. I purely bought these because we're going to Italy. I'm gonna be walking a fucking lot. And shoes are too narrow for my wide ass feet. And I always remember my dad wearing two E wide New Balance shoes. So I, I, they don't even like, I mean they actually are cool New Balances. But like you can just tell looking at them. Like this thing is a fucking unit. But Quart. you know, comfort over everything. Quart. Put it on. Look at this outfit, bro. Look at this fucking outfit. Is that a fucking quality like video? <laughs> <laughs> That's to making the meal. Bro, they're so comfy, I don't even care. I just wear Birkenstocks and socks to the gym. You can't much get, get much more than that. These things are fucking huge. <laughs> I feel like I need to go cut the grass or something. I didn't know you guys endorse microplastics again. We don't want to talk about it. Courtney hit her. I had to put the rice cooker away because why did I put it away? That's like literally a credit card's worth of plastic that you just ate. Don't talk to me, Calvin. Well, the secret is surprise is we're moving. We're selling this house. We're going back to Canada. See you later. Dun, dun, dun. Just kidding, no, but we actually are moving, so we're working on selling the house. Of course, we had to put everything away, including my rice cooker, and then we didn't bring it back out, so we bought that in the meantime, because we're also only home for four days before traveling again, so yeah. That's what's really going happy. Are you guys in vlogging Italy? Italy? I'm gonna be his vlogger. I got you guys, don't worry. I'll, I won't let the boys down. Okay, because I had an idea if you guys didn't film anything, and I was gonna take over Chris's YouTube, but he didn't like that, so. That would be cool. We could see Kelvin behind the camera. No, in front of the camera, he's saying. Oh, that's what I meant. If this video gets 15k likes, 
Well, it would be funny if we left and you were watching Poppy and you did a fucking day in the life of Poppy. Aw, my potato! I could watch it if I get my own place. Oh, well, I do have my own place, but... Well, not yet, but like... When you get it? 24. Well, she's in Chicago. Oh, she probably doesn't even think that, like... She straight up probably thinks you abandoned them now. No, she did not. I FaceTime with her. I don't know about that. I do! I don't know about that either. My potato is with the best watcher of Why'd all. Why'd you leave your daughter, bro? I was... Okay, don't even. <laughs> Get out of my face. She's with her grandmother, my mother, Grammy, Deb. Deb is the best. And she takes very good care of the potato. Mm -hmm. All right, so this is my post-workout meal. I have this new trend of doing a higher amount of protein in one of my last meals of the day. Actually, most meals of the day, but really high in the last one. It was like 290 grams of white fish in this. And that's because I haven't been eating like six meals or five in a shake even. I've been having like four meals in a shake. So I've been having bigger meals to hit my protein intake. And it's just easier to eat. It gives my body a little bit more time to digest during the day. And I feel better doing so. So big meal post-workout. I'm gonna put this down and go to sleep because that's the life I live. But upcoming things, Raw event, June 3rd, Orlando. Tickets are gonna be in the bio. Don't miss out, it's gonna be set, it's gonna be like a Q and A meet and greet, cool thing, big thing. We're bringing a lot of our new athletes out too, so don't miss that. Doing a seminar with Hani on June seventeenth. That one's in New Jersey. That's me and Hani kind of doing the built from within tour we talked about, talking about coaching, training, nutrition, mindset, all that stuff. A little meet and greet at the end of that as well. Going to Italy this week, Saturday. I'm going to be doing a, an event there, but most of you guys watching this probably aren't from Italy. Actually, a bunch of you might be. And that's a lot of what's going on for event wise. So, so I'm going to eat this because I'm hungry. Thank you guys for watching. See you guys in the next video. Sayonara. Sayonara Italian. I have no idea. I don't think so. Aloha Mora. No, that's French. Ciao bella. There you go. Sure, something like that.